Okay, so today we are fitting the wings to the aircraft. Now because this aircraft was uh, not built by us, um, I took the roof off and the turtle deck. And this is to make sure that the mating of the wings uh, to the fuselage is, is, was done correctly by the owner or the previous owner. And um, so I just removed those that while we are working we don't bend stuff. Uh, normally at your house you would be uh, fitting the roof permanently and then later on just refit the wings because you've built it properly. Uh, in this case I'm checking as I'm going so join me while we fit the wings. The previous owner did not make the wings uh, to be able to fold so he did not cut the slots in the spars. So we're going to first uh, cut the slots in the spars and then the other thing is we need to be able to fold because as you can see here we have not connected the wires for the tank lights. So in order to do this we need to be able to fold the wings back, uh, install the fuel lines and the electrical for, for this. And there will also be the compass which will be fitted to in the left wing. Okay, because this was a humble project that I'm completing, I'm replacing all the bolts on the wing with new ones. So we're just going to double check and prepare before we fit the wings. We, we need to measure the bolts and then cut them a little bit shorter. Uh, you want to make sure that the load bearing part is on the shank of the bolt. So in this case, uh, I'll show you guys now, the bolt <coughs> is just long enough for the shank part. So you are not going to fit a washer under the bolt head. This is not something that is turning, so you're just going to fit a washer at the bottom where the nylock nut will be sitting. Please don't cut this with a grinder, use a hacksaw. We don't want to change the tensile strength of uh, the bolt by heating it up with a grinder. So here's a simple method, you don't have to use any uh, verniers or anything. Just put the bolt where it's going to be sitting and just make sure that the shank part of the bolt is in the load bearing part. So at the bottom we'll just fit the washer and an eye lock nut. You can also measure how much you need to cut off and you can cut the thread a bit shorter. Okay guys, so one thing I just want to draw your attention to is that the lift strut fairing is cut. So that when you fold the wing it doesn't uh, push a hole into the fabric. So you'll see this is at an angle and this is described in the manual. Okay guys, also when you do the cutout in the wing for the folding, make sure that you leave enough meat between the bolt hole and where you do the cutout. This is about 20 to 24 millimeters. At the moment we're not going to uh, paint with chromate, we're just going to fit the wing, do the fuel lines. Uh, there's also something I'll explain now about the fuel strainer um, and then we'll paint this uh, right at the end. We'll just touch it up. Okay guys, what we found here is that the angle at which this exits the tank is a little bit too close to the side here. So we're just going to use the standing knife, cut it open and then use a file and just round it out. It's just so that the rubber hose can uh, pass. Alright, so Mario's opened this hole a little bit larger with a standing knife just cutting the wood and uh, we're making space for the rubber hose and the clamp. So as you guys can see there's now enough space. The reason for the rubber hose is for the wing folding. Okay, so I'm just double checking this, making sure that we have enough tension on the thread to push the Loctite or the air out between the Loctite and the thread, um, otherwise it doesn't seal. So just leave this for at least 24 hours before you're going to be putting any fuel into it. Alright, so we are now basically ready to fit uh, the wing. We're just going to install the rubber hose here uh, because it's too difficult to work and, and tightening the clamps when this is already on the aircraft. So you can do it, but it's much better to do it while it's outside. 